guys, I'm back. All right, I'm back with an album review. This is my album review for Road to Nowhere from Playboy. <clears throat> I will be doing a re uh, album review of uh, Josh Blackburn's um, album that came out as well. I'll be doing that one today or tomorrow. Um, but anyway, let's get into this. Okay, so the album Road to Nowhere starts off with Time Time of My Life, and it gets a four out of five. I love the song. It's a cute little love song. It has a cute little beat. It's like a song that you could drive down a street in your car and you just go on, honey. You got your windows down. It's a great little song that you know if, if you're feeling that love vibe, then yeah, go for it. And also, <clears throat> I have to say. That this song reminds me of something that Rihanna could have recorded for a Talk Talk That Talk album. I mean, it's a very nice, solid, like, mwah, song for the beginning of the album, which is nice. This ignorant-ass computer getting on my nerves. But anyway, <clears throat> then we got Welcome to the World of Me, which gets a five out of five. Um, Basically, it's a hip-hop-inspired song. The beat is really amazing. Oh, my goodness. When it came on, I fell in love with it. When it just came on, I was like, this is my favorite. This is one of my most favorite songs on this album. <clears throat> and this song is more audio biographical than anything he's ever done. This is really talking about him and where he's coming from. And we find out that he's actually bipolar. And... You know, I'm not trying to throw no shade, honey, or nothing like that, but it kind of, you know, um, works. What I mean by it works is we kind of understand where the madness and the genius comes from. Because Nina Simone was bipolar, and she's a fucking genius. Donnie Hathaway had a mental issue. He was a fucking genius. You know, um... Michael Jackson and Prince, I'm not sure if they had a mental illness, but they were geniuses. So the fact of the matter is, just because you have an illness or a disease does not mean any damn thing. He's fabulous, he's genius, he's a lovely person. And, I mean, <clears throat> the song is just an amazing song altogether. I would say get the album just for that, okay? <laughs> just for that. Get the fucking album. It's amazing. Um, then we got Kitty Kitty, which gets a three out of five, because it's really, it's a cute little song, but it, it's almost forgettable. Um, but you know, when it comes on with the Jefferson intro, you kind of like, what? And then it's, and then it, it works, it goes into the song, and it's a, um, it's really like Trey Song. It wouldn't be me if I didn't get a little nasty. Yeah! So... I mean, it's a nice song. I'm not saying it's bad, but, you know, it's kind of almost forgettable because of the level of songs that he has on his album. Like, a lot of these songs on this album are really big, and they're really amazing, and this one just is there. Um, then we have Danger Lullaby, which gets a four out of five. It's a, it's, um, a, a, let me breathe. Danger Lullaby is something, is a song that I am proud of him for making because he went to, I think for the first time in his music career, went back, went to his Latino roots. And he, the drums and the, the whole reggaeton vibe of it is amazing. The song in itself is kind of like the game that he is spitting or the guy is spitting or whomever. It's kind of like a danger lullaby because if we get together, we know it's going to be fucking crazy. We know it is, but we want to do it any fucking way. So, I mean, it's a nice song. It's a great song, actually, and I think that um, this should be another single, um, in my opinion. Um, but who am I? I'm just a YouTuber. Um, and then Like a Version, the next song, which gets a 5 out of 5. Mind you, you've heard this song before because he released it a while back. And I loved it then, and I love it now. And it's kind of in the vein of Chris Brown and Tiger's Like a Virgin Again, off a of fan of a fan. Talking about how the sex is so fucking amazing, it feels like he's a virgin again. 
basically when I was, I mean, I was, I lost my virginity in May, and that was an epic fail. I was like, really, bitch, this, 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 what I get. So whatever the fuck, um, shit you was feeling, honey, let, come, give him my number. I need to feel that, okay? I'm just saying. Um, then in the blood, that song caught me the fuck up just by hearing the title in the blood, like. I don't know, motherfucker. What the hell you doing? But as it went on, I was like, oh, I like this. It's really cute. It's really catchy, Um, which, well, for me, it's catchy. I don't know about anyone else, but I think it's a really catchy song. It's basically him talking about his cheating ways and how he gets it from his father, apparently. Apparently, his father was a cheater as well. And how, um, you know, he doesn't mean to cheat, but it's just something he does. No, sir. No, sir. You cheat on me, I'm grit bowling your ass. But, all in all, great song. Um, nothing really bad. Nothing bad at all to say about it. Nothing at all. In the Blood is just a solid track. Point blank, period. Like I said, it gets a five out of five. Then we have Ready for War, Take Me Down. It's a dark, sexy, sensual. The way he delivers the vocals is very sensual. I want you. Hmm. And then when he does his deep register, his when he talks really deep, child. That's exactly what the fuck he look. I was like, oh, the he. That deepness in his voice is just sexy. It reminds you of Skin off a of, uh, off a of, um, yeah, off a of loud for Rihanna. It's very sexy. I mean, he he could have got it, honey. It gets a four out of five. That's all I'm saying. <laughs> then we got Father's Love, which is the next track. That song gets a... Originally, it was a four out of five, but I listened to it again, and it got a five out of five from me because the song is basically... It, it's, it's, a, it's a song that, um, like his previous songs that he's done, talking about his father... This is up there with them, and uh, this talks about the love of a father that he never had, because his father wasn't there, and, you know, every boy wants the love of his father, every boy wants the approval of his father, and when you don't have the father figure there, then you feel kind of lost, and so, I really do feel this song, and I really thumbs up to you for another great song about your situation with your father because a lot of people deal you know unfortunately in the black and latino communities there's not a lot of father figures there uh more in the latino communities than there than in the black but like i said you know it's it's a touchy song five um the next song is disappear which gets a five out of five i mean i'm thinking about thongs oh jesus it's a it gets a five out of five it's a breakup song at its best if you've ever been in a relationship, and you've ever been in a breakup, listen to the song and you'll feel you and him will connect. Okay? I've never been in one, so I don't know. But I, 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 I can kind of see where the connection would be. So that is a very great, powerful song, you know. Um, and, and it almost, almost reminds me of Beyonce's Disappear um, of her um, I Am Sasha Fierce album. Then we have Leaving Town, which, when I heard it, I, I automatically thought Uncle Cracker or Kid Rock, more or less Uncle Cracker, because it has this country um, singer-songwriter vibe to it, and it's just like southern rock almost, <clears throat> and it's a really chill song, and it's basically talking about throwing up the deuces. Like, fuck this shit. I'm leaving town. I'm not fucking with you. No, bye. It's a metaphor. I'm leaving this relationship. This relationship's like a town. Or I'm, I, I, look, I'm not going to teach metaphors. But basically, I'm leaving town. I'm leaving. I'm done with this shit. Gets a four out of five. Then we have Road to Love, which was the first single off the album. And it's um five out of five. Actually... Yeah, but um, Like a Virgin was like a promotional single, I suppose. 
and then, you know, here comes Road to Love. And it was a very great song. It basically thumbs up the album almost. It's country, but feels urban. It's really a chill song. Hold up. Rihanna is... It's a really great chill song. And I advise anyone, when you when you get the album, listen to that, listen to that song. Or even beforehand... You know, you would hear the song, and it's just a really catchy, amazing song, and it's really chill. Um, then we have For the Worst. I had to listen to it twice. It gets a, this is my lowest, baby, I love you, a two out of five. Because it's really, it, it, I can see where, I, I can hear and see where it can go and lead to. Um, I would just say work on that song a little bit more. Bring out your vocals a little bit more in it. And, you know, um, I think it'll be even better. Um, I really couldn't get the gist of what it was about. But, and all, all in all, the instrumentation is nice. And what I could hear, I could tell that it would be a great song. Executed properly. Um, hell, I mean, I can't say too much. I'm mean, acting say something. Because my album was basically tracks that I threw together. So, I mean, no shade, though, sweet, Sweetie Pie. Then the last song, Road to Nowhere, it's the last track. It's the title track. And it uh, is very he heavenly influenced by hip-hop rap. You can hear it. Um, and it's a great ending to the album. I think that with this song, it closed the album out perfectly. It gave it um, a great ending. It gets a 5 out of 5. And um, the album, this album is, I mean, Light will always be my favorite album, but this one right here is right up, it's number 2. Um, This is one of his, it's, it's, it's almost like Light and this are his two are his stripped album or Light was his misunderstood and this is his stripped or vice versa. But nonetheless, I love this album. And I'm gonna put the link down below. Go get the album. Go get it. Download that shit. Crank it up in your core. On your computer. Crank it up. Have fun. Enjoy. Just um enjoy and you know, embrace the music and the love that, that he puts on this whole track, on this whole album. Because the whole album is, like, drenched in his love. Um, so go get it. Um, I, will put his, I will also put his YouTube channel at the bottom as well. And just so y'all know, Dawn Brothers back. Um, she will be back soon. Um, so look out for Joanne Prada. Check this album out. Have a blast. Have a fabulous day. Have a grand day. I love all of you. Go, 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 go get Road to Nowhere. Because it is definitely worth the listen. That's all I have to say. I love all of you. I love you, Brandon. You know this is just a review, baby. Nothing personal. I love you nonetheless. Love all of you, love stars. And... Like I always say, if you don't love yourself, then who in the hell else will? Not a damn human being. Okay? Do your thing, love babies. Mwah.